So you've traversed the ash-covered world of Scadriel from Sanderson's Mistborn trilogy. You've burned medals and fought Kolos. Maybe you've even read the Wax and Wayne books and are waiting for Sando to write more. Which, let's be honest, you're not gonna have to wait for too long. This is how I'm going to be Superman. Or you're waiting for an adaptation, because if you don't know, Sando has worked on a Mistborn screenplay, and I think this is a series that would adapt incredibly well to TV. Or even a video game. Anyway, as you wait, you're now looking for that next book recommendation that has something in common with Mistborn. And that could be difficult to find. Mistborn happens to have my favorite magic system of all time. Well, besides Stormlight. It's a very easy series to get into. It's not overly flowery, it has a very iconic setting, and has a cast of likable characters. It was the first series I've read by Sando Brando, and I still find myself thinking about it all the time. So if you like Mistborn like I do, then you'll probably like these books as well. But before getting into it, this video is sponsored by Redbubble. Now, Redbubble gives independent artists a meaningful new way to sell their creations on a huge variety of products. Redbubble let me make my own list of fall gift favorites. If you use my unique promo code, you'll get 15% off your entire Redbubble order, and that code is valid from now until January 31st, 2022. So this is the mouse pad that I picked out that I thought was pretty cool. My family's been passing down this Lord of the Rings mouse pad that we've had ever since The Return of the King came out. It's basically a family heirloom at this point, but I figured it's time to get a new one. Yeah. One of the items I love getting from Redbubble is their acrylic blocks. I just think they're so cool to put on your bookshelf. Of course, it has more packages inside of it. Yeah. This is a blanket that I picked out as a gift for my sister. Next, I picked out this one to gift to my mom. And then this final blanket I got for Katie. Shirt number one. I actually really like this one. This next one I really like as well. And the final item is this long sleeve of Mount Fuji. So go buy some gifts. Don't forget to use my link for 15% off your order. And thank you to Redbubble for sponsoring this video. Now, if you enjoy Mistborn, but haven't read the Wax and Wayne books, then that's an obvious recommendation. I don't want to spoil things, but if you thought Sanderson stopped after the original Mistborn trilogy, you'd be wrong, and you'd be missing out on these incredible books. Now, of course, I'd also recommend his other Cosmere books, which all share the same universe. There's Elantris and Warbreaker, but the Stormlight Archive is his magnum opus. This is a planned 10-book series. If you want an epic fantasy with incredible world building and my personal favorite magic system, then this would be the next one to read. I actually started The Way of Kings as soon as I was done with Mistborn. If you like the crew in the Mistborn books, then you're bound to like the band in Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. This is a world filled with all kinds of monsters, and mercenaries that hunt these monsters are basically rock stars. Picture Geralt of Rivia, but people actually like him, and he's a member of Led Zeppelin. And what we have is a get the band back together storyline after the main band member's daughter goes missing, forcing this aging group of mercenaries who are way past their prime to go off on one last quest. This book gets your adrenaline pumping. It's dramatic, it's humorous, and it's amazing from start to finish. And while I haven't read the sequel yet, I've heard it's even better. Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. This is the first book in the Ryeria Revelations. This book impressed me. Honestly, I think I might even end up liking this series more than Mistborn, but I haven't finished the series yet, so I can't say for sure. But even from the catchphrase on the book's description, they killed the king, they pinned it on two men, they chose wrong. You know it's gonna be good. It starts with the murder of a king, which is pinned upon Royce and Hadrian, an unlikely duo made of a famous thief and a mercenary who only happen to be in the area to steal a sword. But they end up being used as a scapegoat. In order to clear their names, they need to uncover an ancient secret involving the church. Now, if you thought that Mistborn was a bit slow in its storytelling, then you're going to appreciate the faster pace of Theft of Swords. It's got rogues, elves, a twisting plot and fast-paced action, and incredible characters. Trust me, you don't want to sleep on this one. More people need to read this book. 
If you enjoyed the heist aspect of Mistborn, then you could always read the young adult heist novel Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. I'm still making my way through the Grisha trilogy, which should be read first, uh, so I have no input on this one. But it's also a heist novel, and I've seen it be compared to Mistborn, so there's that. Now another heist recommendation, but this time one of my favorite books, The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. I would say that this one is more grounded and low fantasy compared to Mistborn. It's also on a smaller scale, it's dealing with the fate of a city and not the world, but the characters here are incredible. If you're looking for clever rogues and a twisty heist story with a charismatic protagonist, this is the book for you. The Night Angel Trilogy by Brent Weeks. This was actually one of the first adult fantasy series that I read back in middle school, and if you're looking for an edgy fantasy about assassins, then this is for you. It follows Azoth, a guild rat living in the slums. He ends up becoming apprentice to Durzo Blint, the most renowned assassin there is. He struggles with trying to protect his old friends while being instructed by Durzo to leave his old life behind and take up the new identity of Kyler Stern. He learns to navigate through a dangerous world of corrupt politicians, assassins, and strange magical artifacts. Now this one is a lot more gritty than Mistborn, and it doesn't have as strong of a magic system, but it's similar in that it involves a street urchin who's trained to become someone powerful. I love a good underdog who goes through a lot of training and eventually becomes a powerhouse. Another Brent Weeks book, The Black Prism, is book one in the Lightbringer series. Similar to Mistborn, whose magic focuses on metals and the consumption of them, the Black Prism's magic centers on color. Not only the ability to see different colors, but to manipulate them. Now one of our main characters, Gavin, is a prism. Basically the most powerful man in the world, but he also is fully aware of when he's going to die. And this alone is something that intrigued me so much. Gavin's also a character that you're going to love to hate. It's got a lot of plot twists, and the unique and well thought out magic system is what attracts Mistborn fans to this series. It does go into some very detailed explanation of the magic system, but if you like Mistborn, then you're probably not gonna mind. The next one is a series I'm not actually that positive on, so why am I recommending it? Well, just, just hold on. The Darker Shade of Magic Trilogy by V.E. Schwab. I'm sure you've heard of it. It involves four parallel worlds with four parallel Londons, each with a different history, ruler, and society. Now, Kel is an Antari, meaning he has the rare ability to travel between these worlds and serves as a communicator between the rulers of the three surviving Londons. Now, the concept alone is great, and overall it's a fun enough story, but I do have my issues with it. For one, Lila Bard is kind of a cringy teenager trying too hard to be edgy stereotype. She acts way too much like someone from the 21st century rather than someone from the 1800s. There was also some plot conveniences and a lot of the characters felt superficial and I couldn't really connect with them, but I still wanted to recommend it in this video because I know a lot of people who like Mistborn end up liking this series as well. And just because I have issues with it doesn't mean I can't understand why people like it. Promise of Blood is book one in the Powder Mage Trilogy, a military-style fantasy by Brian McClellan, who was actually a student of Brandon Sanderson. And this shows, his writing style actually reminds me of Sanderson in a lot of ways. Now, like Mistborn, Powder Mage takes place in the midst of an upheaval against a monarchy that seems to have divine backing. Much of the plot focuses on trying to rebuild society after a major revolution. Picture a fantasy version of a post-French Revolution society. It's a flintlock fantasy with a pretty cool magic system revolving around gunpowder. And like Allomancy, this system has clearly explained rules, and people do a lot of cool things with it. So those are my recommendations for books that are similar to Mistborn. If you have any you'd like to recommend, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out my other videos. That helps out a lot. I also have a separate vlog channel where I make vlogs with my girlfriend, if that's something that interests you. And as always, a big thank you to my patrons.